डायरेक्टेड बाय रॉबी ग्रीवाल आखिरी सच स्टारिंग तमन्ना भाटिया संजीव चोपड़ा एंड कृति वेज इन द लीड रोल्स इज अबाउट टू बी रिलीज ऑन डिजनी प्लस हॉटस्टार प्रिटी सून एज द बेस्ड ऑन ट्रू क्राइम थ्रिलर इज अबाउट टू रिलीज सून विदाउट दिस वुड बी द परफेक्ट टाइम to discuss the real life references of the show so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order if you want to see the series on a completely clean slate as we will be discussing the real life inspiration of the characters and their actions in detail but if you are okay with that kindly follow us through this video and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on The series is probably based on the 2018 Burari deaths that serve as the basis for the crime drama series Akri Search. The program focuses on Anya, a female detective, as she conducts an investigation to try and solve the terrifying case. The discovery of 11 family members hanging in their home was the case's initial shock factor. It doesn't take long for what initially seems to be a ritual suicide to transform into something much more sinister. Anya discovers a sinister truth as she starts a relentless investigation exposing the family's affiliation with the cult and casting a spooky shadow over them. The series will definitely navigate the complexities of the human psyche and it is scheduled to debut on Disney Plus Hotstar on August 25, 2023. Fans of crime dramas and psychological thrillers might find Ark Research to be a gripping experience with its unsettling and suspenseful narrative. By providing dubbed version in languages like Bangla, Telugu, Tamil and more, the creators hope to appeal to a larger audience. Although a formal announcement regarding this dubbed version is still awaited, the prospect of reaching audiences who speak a variety of languages heightens the interest in this already eagerly anticipated crime drama. In essence, Ark Research definitely weaves real-life tragedy with fictional storytelling to craft a narrative that explores the enigmatic depths of the human mind and captivates viewers with its disturbing and riveting exploration of secrets and psychological intricacies. The series seeks to explore the complexities of this tragic incident, revealing the mysteries and underlying personal stories. On August 11, 2023, the trailer of Ark Research was released and it has already sparked a lot of interest and anticipation. The series promises to deliver a compelling narrative that examines the investigation into the deaths which is being led by an officer portrayed by Tamanna Bhatia. As the officer investigates the mysterious events, she learns disturbing revelations and pervasive family secrets. Ark Research is prepared to offer viewers an engrossing fusion of crime investigation, suspense and the exploration of human emotions thanks to its foundation in a real-life incident that attracted national attention. By shedding light on the tragic events that served as the inspiration for its plot, the Robbie Greywell directed and sort of their written series has the potential to make a significant impact. As a result, Ark Research established itself as one of the most eagerly anticipated and discussed television programs of its time, offering viewers a distinctive blending of real events and fictional storytelling. Abhishek Banerjee also features in the series and we are really eager to see his performance as the infamous Lalit. The riveting crime drama will explore the unsettling aspects of human psychology while telling a tale of unsettling mysteries and unsettling truths. The Burari murder case which occurred in 2018 shocked the country when 11 family members were found hanging in their Delhi home. Investigations revealed a more complex and unsettling story beneath what was initially believed to be a mass ritualistic suicide linked to a cult. The eagerly awaited web series Ark Research has sparked interest with its impending release and early reviews show a promising offering in the crime thriller genre. Now let's talk about the case in detail. It used to be very early in the morning when the Bhatia family's general store would open. The next door neighbor Gurcharan Singh noticed that they opened the shop on July 1st unusually late. He finally gave in to the urge and visited their home at around 7:30 when the shop was still closed. What he witnessed struck him like a lightning bolt. He observed 11 bodies hanging from the ceiling's iron fences. When he came to, he ran back to tell everyone. A crowd soon surrounded the area, consisting of curious onlookers, media personnel, police officers, and neighbors. It gained national attention by the noon that day. However, rumors and conspiracies weren't enough to destroy the Delhi police's already damaged reputation. The investigating officers found gold amidst all the commotion. The house's registers were discovered. Some of its messages were cryptic. Then the picture started to look a little bit clearer. Black magic, mental health issues, and most significantly, a pervasive and toxic cult were all present in this case. Lalit was the youngest of the siblings, but he still served as the family's head and had the most power and influence. 
He had previously suffered a traumatic event as well as a head injury. Lalit started behaving strangely after the death of his father Bhopal Singh. After the trauma, Lalit went a year without speaking, leading some to believe that he had lost his voice. He frequently claimed to have seen his father in a dream to members of his family. He claimed that his father had instructed him to say a particular prayer at a particular time in order to restore his voice. It did return and he gained his family's trust. They thought he actually used to see his father that served as the family's point of entry into the commotion psychotic disorder that they were figuratively forced into. Lalit began exhibiting symptoms of schizophrenia around 2007. According to his family members, he claimed to be possessed and that his father was trying to communicate with him. Following Lalit's advice, the family's financial situation improved and somewhere Lalit managed to gain the complete faith of not only his siblings but also the younger generation. Even the children's silence on the matter continues to perplex the psychiatrist. This had been going on unnoticed by a very indulgent neighborhood for 11 years. The psychiatrists were amused even more by this fact and wondered what kind of an impact Lalit would have had on a 15-year-old boy if he had accepted all of this without even questioning it. Lalit had persuaded his family that one final ritual was necessary. He claimed that his deceased father had advised him to hang himself in a particular way, which he then explained to the family. After hanging themselves, the water in a pot would turn red and they would all survive the ritual in about 10 to 15 minutes. What's more, each and every family member genuinely thought that they would survive this act of self-harm by hanging themselves because the deceased father would personally save them. Rajiv Tomer, the head constable, claimed that upon entering the home, he discovered 11 people hanging from the ceiling, which he compared to the dangling roots of a banyan tree. The involved team and the forensic experts claimed that they had never witnessed a scene as horrific in their lives and that given the chance, they would erase that eerie memory for good. The reason behind Lalit's final act, which is considered to be no less than a ritual, has been the subject of much speculation. With the promise that they would survive, he persuaded his family members to hang from the ceiling. The family did conquer, clearly having complete faith in his power. But the crucial query was whether Lalit also believed that his father would actually rise from the dead and they would survive. One hypothesis put forth was that Lalit's niece had just gotten engaged a short time earlier. He might have been afraid that if she moved in with a different family, his secret would be revealed. Perhaps that led to a feeling of insecurity within him which served as the catalyst for him to begin hatching this scheme and preparing the heinous deed. He might also have wanted to achieve some sort of spiritual enlightenment because he genuinely believed they would survive. However, nothing can be said with certainty and these are just conjunctures. The Netflix docudrama on the subject was extremely good and I'm not sure how the fictionalized version of the story will turn out to be. But I'm somewhat interested as the real incident is exhilarating and full of suspense. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding arc research. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Achha chalta hoon, yaha pa sab kuchhi gyara hai and I'll be back.